Hey guys, good morning. It's Brent Abel here at Web Tennis, and uh, this is the answer to episode number 26 of What's the Right Shot? And uh, we've got Phil Landauer here just about to play uh, a backhand volley. Um, we had a lot of great shot choices, you know. Uh, lots of folks are saying, you know, just, just slide it down here in the middle between these two guys. You can never go wrong. And, you know, that's actually uh, a great choice if you get the ball down. Now, one of the things to notice here is that Phil is back behind the service line. Brian's in a great position up here at net. Um, in terms of if Phil can get this shot down, uh, then Brian really is going to have a good look at anything that comes back out of the middle. But with Phil being back here as far as he is, and again, he's just a foot or so behind the surface line, if he goes in the middle and that ball stays up at all, Bill uh, right here is really going to have a good opportunity to simply pick it off and, uh, you know, he can, he can drive it back down here in the middle. He can maybe take it back uh, uh, here into this alley depending on, on the height of it. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, Paul will be able to do a lot with it, even if it stays up a little bit. Um, he certainly will have a, a ball that he can handle in terms of keeping the point going. Um, but that's one of the challenges right here for Phil is to make sure that if he goes in the middle, that it stays down over the top of the net, that it doesn't really stay up high. You know, the other, I think, popular shot choice here was a, a lob volley into this corner. And I really like that shot. I mean, I really think that's a great choice. Um, uh, ideally, it goes over Bill's backhand. So even if it ends up a little bit short in here, um, you know, my play is if I go over this guy's backhand and uh, it ends up, you know, relatively short, even though he's got a backup, I'm still going to move in. If I'm Phil, I'm still going to move up because I just don't think that there are enough guys out there with that high backhand volley from somewhere in this part of the court that they can do a lot of damage. And, uh, you know, in fact, it's really kind of an opportunity to force him to hit that shot and move in. But again, if you get it over in here, that works out well too. Some folks had suggested this part of the court here. Um, you know, it works, but it's a trickier shot because you've got, you've obviously got Paul right here who's uh, who's deeper in that service box. A lot of people, not a lot, let me take that back. Some people suggested trying to play what they were calling an inside-out backhand volley to this corner. I don't like that shot. I'm not saying that you can't make it, but I don't think you can really hit a shot that, number one, gets quickly past Paul, unless he's totally committed to something here, you know, and where you really fake him out and you make it look like it's going here or it's a lob volley, and he commits, but you end up going over here. I just think stroke mechanic-wise, that's a really tough shot. So, you know, if you go here, if you don't hit a winner, what happens is the ball sits up a little bit, Paul gets to run over to this area here, and now Brian has really got a, you know, first responsibility is to cover that alley, and and once he does that, um, now Phil has got the rest of the court. Not only has he got the middle, but he's got to cover a ball down to his feet, and he's all got, also got to cover now this new angle that's been created out here wide. So I'm not a big fan of, of that shot choice right there. I'm not saying that you can't actually execute the shot. I'm just saying I think the risk factor goes way up in terms of being able to win this point. What we're going to see, though, however, is that uh, Phil is going to play this volley very softly over to this part of the court in here, and it ends up, it ends up nicely getting past, past Bill. And this is this is technically what we were talking about. There's two things I want you to think about. Number one, think about your own personal stroke mechanics. Um, you know, do you really, with this setup here, with the shoulder not really turned um, uh, severely to where your stroke mechanics would work here? Um, I want you to think sometimes about, you know, and as this point develops, everything's happening, bang, bang, it's going quickly. You know, can you really... Um, pull off a lot of these shots that we talked about. You might have to go with this shot right here because that's the way that your stroke mechanics right now 
are kind of set up. So at some point, I want you to start thinking about, you know, what can I realistically do with the stroke mechanics that I've got on my backhand volley? And it might mean that in this part um, of the point, this is the only shot that you've really got. You obviously from here can't bang this ball hard. Um, it's got to be an angle that, worst case, if Bill gets to it, he's going to be down and, uh, and you start to close. Brian's obviously in a good position here. Um, and then the other thing I want you to be thinking about is this. Look, I, the one thing I don't give you on this where I ask you for what's the right shot, I don't tell you what's led up to this particular shot in the match. Um, I'm not telling you whether this is the first point of the match or it's the end of the first set or it's, you know, end of the third set. You don't know. So it could be that, you know, if, if, if you are Phil, that um, you've been in this situation a few times before in the match and you've played a, a low ball here or you've played a lob volley over here. And right now it becomes a guessing game where you're thinking, if you're Phil, you're thinking, well, what's Bill thinking? Well, what's Paul thinking? And, and they might be guessing something that you've already shown them before in the match. They might be guessing you're going here again. They might be guessing a, a, you know, a lob here. And so some of this becomes uh, a guessing game where you are showing them something else. The other thing that, you know, it could be here that, um, well, we know it's, we know where, you know, the point started off uh, serving here to the deuce court. It could be 40-15. In terms of sometimes I'll go, you know what, worst case, if I lose this point because I try a different part of the court than normally where I'd go, at least I'm showing them something that they might have to consider deeper in the match. So blah, blah, blah. Um, what do you think? Right below the video. Have a great day out there.